Hey everybody, yes, I'm back once again and welcome to my second video based on a series of bagging cases for the Nexus 4. So as I said in my previous video, I've not really found any kind of premium cases that I've kind of seen out there that I like the look of right now. Again, if you know any curse companies that are doing them, please let me know in the comments down below because I would like to know of any premium cases because I like a more premium case. I've got some of these just to test out for now and show you guys which ones I think are pretty good, which ones are okay. Anyway, as you can see here, you've probably seen a lot of these ones um, for other devices as well. Um, the normal class is like the S line of cases, I think a lot of the case companies like to call them. And it is a very Billy Basic, and you can tell it is a cheap case. This also costs 99p, including delivery from eBay. So we're talking about $2, again, give or take the exchange rate, maybe $1.20, 50 it could be anything around that, but 99p in terms of English money. So yeah, we'll stick the actual phone in the case and obviously show you around it. So the easiest way to do it is pop it into the top and then just kind of pop down. Job done, it's on there. So we'll take you around it. As you can see, everything is completely covered. So obviously the power button is there completely covered. You've got a nice little kind of grip area here. So if you do hold the phone, it's got like a nice kind of grip area to it, so it's pretty nice. On the top, as you can see there, you've got your secondary microphone, which is not perfectly, perfect look out. Hopefully it shows you that there, you can hopefully just see that. It is slightly off-centered a little bit, there you go. The um, MP3. The 3.5mm headphone jack is nice to cut out, it's perfect. Jump on the side, you've got your volume up and down, and obviously you can feel, you can feel both of those. So thinking, oh yeah, there it is. It's got like a nice little cut out there. And they're pretty easy to press in and out, don't worry about that. And again, more grippiness to stand the side there. On the bottom of the phone, it's got a nice size cutout, and as you can see, the main microphone has got a perfect size cutout as well. Jumping onto the back, yes, it has got the perfect cutout for the speakerphone. As you can see, it is slightly sticking to the actual phone, which gives it a bit of a strained look. I'm not exactly keen on that. Um, I'm going to guess that's just due to the material that's being used. At the top, once again, perfect cutouts. Let's be honest, it's not really hard to get the, the, the cutouts perfect for this. And as you can see, the Nexus um, kind of branding through the case. All in all, it's a nice case. Um, it does feel a little weird sometimes here because you're just kind of pushing a little bit. It's not completely snug. But yes, it has got the good old little raised section at the front. So when you stick it down, do not worry about scratching the screen. It's going to be fine. And obviously, the actual camera itself is a little indented in there as well. So sticking it down is not going to scratch that as well. As you can see, it's got a slightly different cutout to the top there. If it wants to uh, focus, there we go. So obviously, with regards to the speaker, or to hear it at the top, it's going to be fine. You're not going to have any problems hearing it there. All in all, for a pound, I can recommend it, you know, it's going to be a good case to put you on. You can get it in different colours. I like the red one, I thought it would be a bit more bright than other ones. But yeah, I mean, if you like it, you can go pick one up again. I'll put a link in the description to the seller that I bought this one from. Do you have any questions about this or any other cases? If you do, you're not to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SamJPullen, and yeah, you'll see me all in my next video. Cheers, everyone.